Now, and I give you a hundred percent credit for 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 having a hand in Atlanta being a huge, huge go to for film and television mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we know the will. I mean, excuse me. Of course, we know the Tyler Perry's mm -hmm. of the world yep. and all the uh, the astronomical steps toward progression he's he's brought to the city as far as uh, film production and yep. television production, yep. but you, even back when uh, uh, Tyler was still doing plays, he was doing his plays. I think you do. You did Twa. We were doing our little Twa movies, our little twa. erotic thrillers. And yep. that was, and that y'all had a, a opening, I think, at the Fox. Yep. You yep. know what I'm saying? And that was a big ass deal. It was a huge deal. You know huge. what I'm saying? You're right. You're absolutely right. And we that were, was before anybody was shooting movies in Atlanta. It and wasn't nobody. a thing. Well, yeah. actually, I don't know. Did you precede ATL? Because I think ATL was probably what year. What year was ATL? 2006. Um, we definitely preceded it with Twa. Okay, I gotcha. shot Twa in 99 and oh. released it in 2000. Okay, gotcha. Yes, so I was before you too. Okay, well, wanted, damn. No, no, oh, I just wanted yeah, to just make sure saying. you knew that. I, All right, well, I yeah, beat well, you on well, one well, thing. Well, thank you. Nothing else. Well, thank you I for had... bringing that up on my show. <laughs> I appreciate that for telling all of my listeners that you. <laughs> this is my one thing. Can you, I have my one that I did better than? <laughs> no problem. Okay. No, but yeah, it was before Tyler was doing the plays, and we were doing our little small movies here in Atlanta. Atlanta had dried up. Back in the day, Atlanta was a, a hot spot to make movies. Like, um, well, you got BJ and the Bear, Cannonball Run, uh, In the Heat of the Night. Like, all that well, was shot you here. Got, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it again. Yes. Oh, if you go Uptown, back to Uptown Saturday Night. Yes. You know what yes. I'm saying? 100%. Yeah. So I came in with that generation kind of after that and okay. was doing my little small movies. And then, like, you know, bigger and bigger. And then, of course, Tyler came, love what he's doing, right and then on. we all work together to get the tax credit here. Mm. At the end of the day, Hollywood's about money. They're going to go where... The money is. Come on. Yeah. Where it's cheapest to shoot. I don't care what it is. Right. And so that is what has really propelled the film industry into what it is now. Right. Now, now, now what point in your journey did you see this exact vision for your life? I saw it being possible after Stomp the Yard. Mm. That was the movie I was like, oh, I can play on the level with the big dogs. Because we were number one. That was my first number one movie. It wasn't number one in Atlanta. Right. It wasn't number one with black people. Right. It wasn't number one in the South. We were the number one movie in America. And I said, oh, mm. I could do this. Mm. And then all of a sudden, people were returning my calls who yeah. I couldn't get on the phone before. <laughs> and that was a nice feeling. Funny you know what I'm saying? Oh, brother. Funny you want Hollywood that. to you want to get Hollywood's attention? You make some money without them. Now the stories that you were telling are stories of young black adolescents. Okay, you know, uh, uh, as they transition themselves from one level of life to the to the next, mm. whether it's in a relationship, mm -hmm. whether it's you know in college, yep. uh, whether it's a young bank robber, whatever it is, yep, it's yep. about you know young black. Young black kids, uh, 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 young adults that transition themselves from one level of life to the next. Yeah, that's where, a big part of our portfolio. Where sure. does the inspiration for your films come from? Real people, like the fact that I live in Atlanta and not LA. Mm. I'm there all the time. Got an office there, all of that. But ATL is home, so I'm around real people. I'm influenced by real people. Okay, that drives the creatives for my movies. And TV shows. Now, now as it's a, not just like, you know, talking with all other Hollywood people. Hollywood tends to be like a bubble. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they Every, follow. They follow each other. And they, everybody's trying to everybody make the Everybody walking same in the circle, thing, following the same each other. Circle, they the talking the same way. Yeah. I got to get out of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Atlanta definitely helps. And then traveling all over, not just the A, but just traveling. And, and um, anyway, that's where a lot of the inspiration comes. It's from real people, not right. just Hollywood folks. 